to sleep away Labor Day Sleep away It's time for us to think of fall The most beautiful season of all I'm really happy to be with you again my friends The way I look at you is with dying love I love you Brothers and sisters, you're the one that I call my special family. Bad special family, it's the way I want to always have it be. My special family. Rainbow or plaid, gray and white, doesn't matter what your persuasion you feel. I just want to know that you matter to me. And and that I'll never forget that your faith in me is real. Oh, give me the time of your busy day and night, and I'll make you smile. I'll make you live happy. I'll make you smile. I'll give you the wait for a better day. For a better day. For a better day. And I say, hello again, here's my best to you. Are your skies all gray? I hope they're blue. Here's my prayer, and I'll say it long. Hello, hello again. Hello, my friends. Hello again to all of you. We love you. Thank you so much for being with me this Friday afternoon. It is a torrid day in South Florida with our heat index at, I believe it's about 109, 110, 111, depending on what particular little duchy that you're in here, what little township, what little borough, what little village. But I would say that there's probably no... I guess there's no heat index of much less than 110 right now, which is kind of, it's kind of scary to me. I don't do well with this, and this is not your typical August either. It's very much more uh, draining, if you want to call it that, but yeah, absolutely. It's just, a, it's a draining day. Well, I don't really, and I know how this is impacting negatively on, on uh, comments and your day seems to be a little bit ruffled because of my my uh, interjecting comments about what I'm seeing but you know you almost didn't get a, a video from me this week and last week was eh, I just wasn't feeling very well last week the heat got to me doing landscape work day after day after day and a heat index of 1.5 to 1.15 it's just very difficult and I'm not you know fair skinned and I don't really have the um, the capacity to build up a, 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 a tan skin I don't get a tan I, I, I get red and then I peel and, uh, and there's other circumstances going on I have a, a, a little tiny spot on my chest that uh, it's, it's it's a basal cell carcinoma that is being treated with uh, um, some caustic drugs like a light light muriatic acid and, but it, I don't think it's that it's another one of the acids but it seems to be helping and uh, I should be rid of it after it's been here three years but I worry about that because I do work around the yard without a lot of clothes on if I if I have any on at all and it's, it's just difficult so I'm hoping that this will be about the uh, maybe the last 60 to 90 days that I'm going to be feeling this. It's a long summer and I just don't think that we're 
we're as equipped as people from the northern, uh, say north of the 35th parallel, mid-south, mid-midwest, upper midwest certainly, and the upper northeast New England. I think that we're just not adapted too well to this, and I really do hope that we can get to the holiday season and start enjoying stuff that doesn't require us to sweat over. You know, who wants to make cookies, Christmas cookies now? Thank goodness we're away from it yet. But boy, I, I, Brad and I love to make cookies. Uh, I make a good uh, a rum ball too, <laughs> and I make a good um, mint frappe with a little marshmallow cream and and some creme de menthe and white chocolate. It's good. I can't get it anymore. It used to be something that Fanny Farmer Candy said, and they stopped carrying it as they they lost their position in the in the candy world as being, uh, say, a drugstore c candy bar. But uh, yeah, I guess um, Godiva's got some stuff in it. And of course, uh, Russell Stover is probably the big the big uh, kahuna when it comes to drugstore candies. And, and along with, um, am I thinking about, who am I, what am I thinking about? Well, Cad Cadbury and, um, you know, Hershey's and, and, and Nestle's, nothing to brag about there. So how are you all? What's going on? I don't know how, uh, you, you know, your summer's going. I guess kids, kids are going back to school. Yay! Pretty soon. I never had a particular predilection for, for being a, uh, a school mom. And I think Brad and I are both kind of on the same page. We don't really have much time for ourselves, and I have a feeling it would probably hit us uh, adversely. We were just watching last night Flipping Out with Jeff uh, Lewis, and their baby was just delivered, and the tension in the house is at a fever pitch. It's really not good. His boyfriend, Gage, wanted it. He wanted him to build a house just so it would be perfect for the baby. But they are so so much drifting apart. He said, "I can't believe this baby's been screaming in the in the house since we had it for two weeks, and I just can't take it." I didn't think so. Jeffrey is very very stereotypically uh, obsessive compulsive, and I I relate to him pretty well because I'm that way also. Uh, so that has to be interesting. No, we we have our pets. I've been crying, trying to do something that will have them be a little more copacetic. It seems like it's okay. Uh, we seem to have reached a sort of a temporary peace. I rearranged some things in the house, which you're about ready for a house tour pretty soon. I'm not ready for, to show it yet, but you're you're about ready to see it. Uh, and uh, and garden tour, of course. But I don't. Uh, you know, I don't really think that this is the month when I have a grand deal of ambition. I was just with my buddy Andres from Five Star Landscaping in, in uh, Miramar, Florida, and he was looking at the backyard, and it's gorgeous, but it, it needs to be freshened up. The mulch is kind of meh. Yeah, it's just, it's not fresh, and uh, uh, we probably need some little bit of ground cover color there, too. Maybe some bromeliads or, or something that pentas are good even here. And then the, the begonias will go in in November, so they'll, they'll take us through till uh, probably the June and July. But, uh, oh, it's a, it's a huge undertaking. Brad and I spent Sunday last looking at the LA Times and seeing what kind of apartments were available in, uh, in a, within a, a mile of walk to the Farmer's Market and La Brea Tar Pits and the LA County Museum. Well, I just didn't think that, you know, I, I, want, I wanted to go there so badly, and I think we love it. I mean, we know we love it, but I mean, $5,200 for La Brea Apartments with, with a kitchenette, it's just not going to cut it. I mean, we're used to 3,200 square feet living in this crummy part of Florida. Uh, that's debatable, I'm sure, but, you know, what we got here for, for $450,000 is, is, is really a lot more than we would ever be able to get for... Um, 450,000 if we were to purchase something in in the uh, LA or Orange County area Ventura County forget it Santa Barbara forget it San Diego forget it but we're not you know we're, we're a half hour from the beach and I don't go anyway because it's, it's I don't like the hot sticky stand sticking all over to me we don't have a nice nice soft uh, quartz based sand it's it's just ground shells and it's I don't like it 
and it just yeah it sticks to you so much when you're when you're hot and especially it'll stick to your sunburn so when you go home you have to really just drip coolly <laughs> and that seems to be the way to survive it but so that's kind of what I wanted to ask you guys what do you generally pay to live in Southern California and how much money do you think a couple needs to make to live pretty nicely I mean we're going from 2300 square feet to probably 1800 square feet which is still a pretty good size condo or apartment in the area so for what we saw the studios were from only about 4200 square uh, 420 excuse me square feet and I just don't think that would work I'm not giving away all our furniture although yes I know I'll be living in a, in a much tinier box someday after after I'm uh, not walking the, the, the these these fa f fabulous hallowed uh, streets of the earth but uh, and nobody knows what comes after that anyway but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know if that's. We both kind of agreed that might not so be be such a good idea. We, we maybe we'll be able to do it, but my bet is against it. And then I happened to pull up a a real estate um, uh, brochure. Not brochure. It was an article in within Forbes, and it said that uh, the, the rating all 50 states in the District of Columbia for affordability. Uh, and quality of life and availability of medical care. Uh, we came up number one in Florida. California was down near 37 and and what nailed you was affordability of homes. You have a quality of life that's higher than we do. You, you rate an 8, we rate an 11 and you rate um, I believe, let me see, what we're, we're, we were 24 in medical health care, and you guys, I think, were, you were 16 or 17, so it was predictable. You, you weren't on the bottom, uh, and you know who is. It's Hawaii and, and Alaska, mostly for affordability, um, and the quality of life there is, yeah, I mean, it's pretty outside, but when you don't go outside, you've got a cultural issue. Uh, there aren't that many theaters and there aren't that many concerts like you guys in SoCal have and we in uh, South Florida do although nobody now because they they drop off about the end of May and they start coming back here in um, in November so yeah we'll have our six months of of um, merriment and festivities with with road companies I really still want to see the Book of Mormon I really because Andrew, Andrew Rannells is great, and I would really love to see that. And uh, it's just so brilliantly done. It's happy. It's funny. It's also very much rooted in the, uh, reality with, with those folks. So that's what we're doing. We're getting ourselves squared away for life for the future. Where are we going to stay or are we going to go? Now, remember, we still have that 27-acre uh, farm in Panama. Brad t admitted to me last week he's a little, t little scared of heights, and and he said the driveway would kind of freak him out because I, I said to him, well, my cousin in Atlanta's got a similar situation. He, he's got to make four turns at 45 degree angles to get down to back down in front, into the uh, to the street. That's how high up he is and how erratic it is in that area if they have an ice storm they're toast they just stay in the house I'm sure so we're flatlanders here and it's easy to it's easy to navigate our lovely streets which is in a grid system and it's also flat uh, the our high our highest areas are uh, uh, landfill and uh, and what else would I say oh yeah interstate overpasses so that's about it anyway guys I just uh, wanted your opinion would you say are you happy that you moved to SoCal and and do you think the affordability issue is going to be okay for you for the rest of your lives or will you might have to make some changes I know um, uh, Matt and Blue were moving to Colorado I'm not so surprised because I think they're more woodsy people and I think although they like Southern California's mildness, I think they really don't like the traffic. I think it's that's for me so so. I was born in New York City, so I'm used to traffic, but I don't great I don't crave it. And when I came home from work yesterday it took me uh, to go thirty seven miles. It took me about an hour and a half. I didn't like that at all. It was hundred two degrees at the time without the heat index. 
So I just wanted to let you know that all these things are going on inside our minds and boy do we have a lot of things ticking on in there. It's a very, very lovely but dangerous place to be. Do you want to be with me inside here? I doubt it dear, I doubt it dear. I want to say I love you and I look forward to seeing you again, my precious friend. Love you.